Hello everyone, this is Munali Mishra from KP Classes and we at KP Classes have a very important news for you. So we have structured a 51 day course that covers the entire syllabus in a well structured format for NATA and for JE aspirants. Both of these examinations course and syllabus will be covered entirely in these 51 days course time and this will be absolutely free available to you on the YouTube channel of KP classes. So make sure to get what uh, any kind of update on those launch or the launch date basically make sure to subscribe the channel and stay tuned for that. So in today's video what we are going to see or what we are going to basically understand are what are the various best uh, colleges for architecture in India. So we are going to go through the basically the admission process, an overview of admission process, what are the various examinations that you have to basically prepare for and appear in, what should be your rank target, what are, the, some, what are some of the best colleges of architecture in India. So we will be going through that one by one to give you an overview so that you if you don't have any idea if you want to pursue architecture and you are feeling a bit lost as to how to start, this is the video which will give you a good idea about the colleges and about your eligibility criteria. Let's start with it. So the first is the entrance examinations for architecture. Basically these are the you can say overall these are the three main examinations that you have to sit for if you want to appear for uh, if you want to basically pursue architecture. The first one is NATA that is National Aptitude Test in Architecture and this is conducted by COA that is Council of Architecture. So this is a very specific test that is designed for architecture students and a lot of colleges in India actually admit students based on the NATA scores. Now you must have heard about JE mains, there are two paper, there is paper 1, this paper 1 and then there is paper 2. Paper 2 is specifically for architecture. Now students who specifically want to target architecture have to sit for JE mains paper 2. Another test that was recently added was AAT that is architecture aptitude test. Now what is the criteria to be eligible to sit for this test? Basically you have to appear for JE mains paper 1. Paper 2 is specifically for architecture. Paper 1 is for engineering. So you have to sit for paper 1. Clear that you have to then sit for JE advanced and then once you qualify JE advanced only then will you be able to sit for your architecture aptitude test based on your uh, qualification and your marks in this and your rank in this you will be allotted seats in the college and finally some colleges have their own entrance exam also which the university themselves conduct and sometimes some colleges prefer for any kind of state level examination like Comet K for Karnataka or you have WBJWE for West Bengal. These are the various state level examinations. There are other tests, uh, other examinations also. You can, if you want, if you have any college in your mind, you can always go and search to get a better view of which colleges is taking which uh, examinations basically. Now let's try to understand step by step what are the various colleges, basically a uh, few of the top colleges and what are their criteria. So IITs, uh, are something that everybody wants to get into. So there are two IITs that provide your architecture that is bachelors of architecture course. We have IIT Khadakpur and we have IIT Roorkee. So enable to you know get your seat in IIT you have to appear for JE paper 1 and JE advanced. So basically to get into IIT you have to qualify your architecture aptitude test. JE paper means 2 is not a mandatory. In order to be eligible for this, first you have to appear for paper 1 which is for engineering paper and then you have to appear for JE advanced examination. Once you qualify both of those examinations, only then will you be eligible for the AAT examination. Once you have uh, cleared this AAT examination as well, you will have to register for JOSA counselling that is Joint Seat Allocation Authority Counseling. They will be releasing the AIRs and based on the AIRs you will have you will be going for the counseling process. Based on that counseling process you will get your seat in whichever desired IITs you want to. So for IITs you have to appear for the engineering paper. Then we have NITs that is National Institute of Technology and CFTS that is Centrally Funded Technical Institutes. So for NITs they have a 
set criteria that is paper 2 you don't have to appear for paper 1 you don't have, don't have to appear for basically aat you can just appear for paper 2 which is specifically designed for architecture course and based on this uh, whatever marks you secure in this you will have your, your merit uh, list will be released by nta that is national testing agency again once your merit list is uh, uh, actually declared you can sit for or register for your josa counseling and they will be releasing the AIRs based on which your counselling will take place and you will get your desired seat in whichever NITs you are opting for. So for N for IITs we have AAT that is through paper 1 and the JE advanced and for NITs you have paper 2, JE main paper 2. Now this is a table which will actually give you an idea that what basically what are the opening and the closing rank so this is basically opening and closing rank for the third round so it will give you an idea that approximately what is the range that you should target for basically we should always target for the best we should always always target to be in, in basically top so that we can get the college that we desire for we don't have to go through multiple counseling process but in just to give you an idea what is the range basically you can see mostly it does go up to 2000 up to 2000 you know even in the spot round till spot round the closing rank does goes up to 2000 so you have to at least aim for some uh, uh, an all india rank under 2000 in order to get into nits but to say stay on the safer side we have to make sure that we get something you know basically below or under 1000 or maybe under 500 to the best so that you can actually choose which, whichever college you want to choose so you can pause the video if you want to and you can actually see or get an idea of which nits are there and basically there are other nits also you can go and check on the website what is the opening and the closing rank this is basically to give an idea to you so this is what you should target that is under 2000 at any case you have to target in order to get into nits now other colleges that also accept the JE paper main 2 score or the JE paper main 2 ranking is IIEST Shippur. So again you have the opening and the closing rank you can see it goes up to 1000 as I said to be on the safer side in order to be 100% sure that you are getting into, into the college that you actually dreamt for or that is basically your dream college under 1000 is always something that we will suggest you. So that is the range that you should always look for. Secondly, School of Planning and Architecture SPA. We all, are, we, uh, if you are uh, new to architecture, uh, new to this entire thing, you may not be aware of this. But School of Planning and Architecture is specifically designed for architecture. Now you have in IITs and in NITs you have other departments, but here this school is specifically designed for architecture and planning. This is located in three places in Delhi, in Bhopal, and in Vijayawada. So whichever college you want to join or whichever SPA you want to join. You have to get an. You have to basically search on your own to see whichever is locationally closer to your house, maybe, or whatever preference you are giving to this college criteria selection. Here, the eligibility criteria is basically 50% minimum mark should be there in class 12th. So they also have uh, the admission based on your JE paper main, uh, mains paper two marks. And again, you have to sit for JOSA counseling. Through that, you will undergo the counseling process. Your seat will be allocated in whichever. SPA you want to get so again I as I said we always suggest for SPAs the rank, the closing ranks are pretty high like it at least something under 500 for Delhi so you have to if you want to get into SPA Delhi you have to basically make sure that you are getting at an a all India rank at least under 500 in order to ensure your seat in this college another college that we have is Jamia Millia Islamia in New Delhi again the thing is that they also accept JE paper main mains paper two uh, marks but then once you have gotten your marks you have to basically fill up a form on JMI site uh, and based on your form basically they will release their own merit list so for this you don't have to sit or you don't have to basically register in the JOSA counseling they have their own counseling process they will release their own merit list Chandigarh College of Architecture situated in Chandigarh again you have to this is a, a college which takes up JE paper, main paper 2 marks uh, you have to once you get your marks get your rank you have to basically fill up a form on the college where you have to input your 12th marks as well your JE mains marks as well and the merit list will be declared by the university based on your form filling so this again has to be separately filled up 
JOSA counselling, you cannot get into uh, CCA through JOSA counselling. Similarly, Birla Institute of Technology in Mesra, this is a private uh, college. So here the eligibility, uh, eligibility criteria is minimum 60% marks should be there in class 12. And an approx opening rank is around 400. So again, as I said, and I repeatedly say that you have to always try to be in top 500 in order to ensure your rank. Now, what are the colleges that accept NATA score? Up till now, we saw colleges that accept your uh, JAT score that is uh, through paper 1 and advanced and AAT and JE paper 2 scores. Now, we are going to see which are the colleges that accept your NATA scores. So, SEP that is Center for Environmental Planning and Technology. Uh, it's situated in Ahmedabad. They have uh, this uh, basically accept your NATA scores. Now, one thing that you have to keep in mind is whichever college accepts NATA score, they have a weightage to that. So, your NATA score is given a 50% weightage and your 12th standard percentage is also given a 50% weightage. So, what you have to make sure here is you have to make sure that not just your NATA score is good, but also your 12th score has to be, your 12th percentage has to be good. NATA, we all know it's out of 12, uh, 200. So in that, mostly if I have to give you a range, basically the range in which we mostly have toppers, something above 170, 170 to 180, it's a very good score. These are the topper score. Above 150 is a fairly good score. So these are the scores. Uh, this is the range in which most toppers, uh, you have most toppers from. And uh, basically, you know, there are a lot of students between 100 to 125 range. So you always have to basically aim for something above 150 in order to secure basically your seats in these colleges these are top colleges top this is a one of the best private uh, universities for architecture and planning uh, the this is a government uh, university but basically these are some of the top colleges in order to make sure that you get your seat into these colleges you have to aim for not just a good NATA score but also you have to make sure that you a percentage in class 12th is good because again if you have a good score in NATA but again you don't have a good percentage in class 12th it won't actually help you so make sure that you have a good um, a good uh, score in both of these criteria. so in this as we see sept again I told you through NATA score JJ College of Architecture which is situated in Mumbai again through NATA scores here the minimum eligibility is again 50% marks with PCM. Now, uh, I hope you are aware, if you are not, uh, I'll tell you this, that PCM is mandatory for students who want to pursue architecture, you must have PCM in your class 12th. Then we have JNA, FAU, SPA Hyderabad, that is Jawaharlal Nehru, Architecture and Fine Arts University, which is situated in Hyderabad. Again, they also uh, consider your NATA score, but once you get your NATA score, you have to basically fill up the university forms. Basically, this is the criteria for all of these universities. Once you have your NATA score, uh, you have to go to these uh, university websites. You have to fill up uh, the forms on them. You have to make sure that you stay updated whenever the forms are coming up. You have to fill up those forms. They will be releasing the merit list and according to that, seats will be allocated. Now, the other colleges now we saw about uh, AAT that is architecture aptitude test, we saw about JE mains paper 2, we saw about NATA but then some colleges are there which conduct their own examination in order to you know basically admit students into this particular course. For Aligarh Muslim University which is situated in Aligarh we have AMU Tripoli that is Aligarh Muslim University engineering entrance examination. So they have their own examination, they don't take into consideration any marks or any JE paper or from NATA marks, they have their own entrance. You have to basically clarify, uh, clear this uh, entrance examination in order to uh, basically reserve a seat. Another college is Jadavpur University, which is situated in Calcutta, West Bengal. The state examination that is WBJW, that is joint entrance examination is conducted for students for or basically for aspirants who are state candidates. 
but for outside candidates they do take in nata score there are other colleges as well for example in order to get into colleges in bangalore you have to uh, sit for comit k which is a uh, state level examination in karnataka so there are other colleges as well which take into consideration uh, you know they have their own tests maybe or maybe they take into consideration the state level test but mostly if i have to say overall private colleges they do accept nata score so apart from the colleges that we have stated here if you have any other college of your uh, you know any other college that you want to get into you can always go and search on their website to get a detail of what is the admission criteria this is the overview of some of the best colleges apart from that if you have if you are a bit confused as to how am i going to select the colleges basically the first thing that we suggest is um, you can definitely look for your uh, ranking of the colleges apart from that try to approach a person who has passed out from those colleges like an alumni so you can always approach them ask them what kind of curriculum is followed what is the structuring how is uh, you know uh, the uh, course how is it imparted uh, what is the kind of uh, environment there what is the exposure so these are the things that you can take into consideration apart from that if you want to have uh, you know if you want to uh, get into a college that's around you somewhere near to your hometown you can have that as well and basically you can you know stay updated with our channel as well if you have any other queries make sure you comment down below apart from that as i already said we have structured a 51 day course for nata and for je uh, mains uh, paper 2 examination the entire syllabus will be uh, you know uh, basically covered in a well structured manner and you once you have attended this 51 day lecture series which is available free you do not have to uh you know go for any other coaching or you have don't have to basically study any the book for this you will be well prepared so make sure to stay in tune and updated like and subscribe this channel and update stay updated with this channel thank you very much